This is the Honeywell ARD damper, and today we're going to be replacing the motor that's gone bad with an EcoJ Smart Zone actuator that will last a lot longer and has higher torque rating and uses much less power. Mine's already missing the cover, but uh, they come in lots of shapes, sizes with different covers. And the newest one uh, even looks way different than this. Uh, and I have a picture of it here. Uh, don't be fooled though. They're all essentially the same on the inside. Next, we're going to remove this cap head set screw that uses a 3 16 inch hex key. Uh, but if you left your Allen wrenches in the truck, uh, seems like needle nose works just fine. This EcoJ Smart Zone motor mounts right directly to most aftermarket dampers. However, this Honeywell has a problem in that the shaft is just a little too short. So we're going to use this shaft adapter made by EcoJ to extend the shaft up into the hole of the motor. This shaft adapter has three set screws that should be tightened evenly around the base of the shaft and a slot on the top of the shaft adapter that should be lined up with the blade inside the damper can. Now slip it down over the shaft all the way to the base and tighten the three set screws with the included hex key. Once these set screws are tightened evenly, remove the grommet and tape over the hole. Now we're gonna install this anti-rotation bracket that comes with the motor. It's intended to slip in the back slot and keep the motor from rotating whenever the blade is turning. You don't want this bracket to be up tight against the motor. Instead, you want it to be slightly loose to prevent the motor from binding. Next, slip the new motor over the shaft adapter and put the anti-rotation bracket in place to mark the holes for where to mount it. Remove the motor and attach the anti-rotation bracket with the included self-tapping sheet metal screws. Before installing the motor, it's a good idea to loosen the nuts on the U-bolt so that it slides on more easily. The back side of the motor should slide over the anti-rotation bracket as the motor hole rotates over the shaft adapter. The last thing to do before tightening this motor down is to make sure the U-bolt on the shaft clamp on the motor is in the closed position and that the damper blade is also in the closed position. The way to do this is to press the black clutch button on the top of the motor while rotating the shaft clamp all the way to the counterclockwise closed position stop. Once you've ensured that the damper blade is in the closed position and that the damper motor is in the closed position, it's time to tighten the two nuts on the U-bolt. These should be tightened evenly until the U-bolt is snug on the shaft adapter. I hope this was helpful and there's links in the description for the shaft adapter and the motor. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thank you very much.